This is Jack Rice on the campaign trail. The Iowa caucuses are only a couple of days away, and all of the candidates left and right are trying to do one thing, prove that they're the smartest. Oh, clearly, prove that they can be president of the United States. Yes, that's true, too. But for all of them, and for all of the Iowans who are there watching them, the one thing that they are trying to prove is that they are somehow quintessentially Iowan, that they understand Iowa. I was walking into the Obama 08 campaign that's over on Locust in Des Moines, and it's a nondescript red brick building. You walk inside, and it's like every other headquarters I've ever been in. Bedlam. There are people on the phones. There are people everywhere trying to get out, trying to convince those last few people to caucus, and that's what it was all about. There were handwritten signs all over the walls trying to motivate volunteers to work harder. That happens everywhere. But what I was looking for was that connection for Obama to Iowa. And I kept looking and looking as I was talking to the campaign uh, communications director, Josh Ernest, and he was trying to make that connection too. But I kept looking, trying to find it. As I was walking out the door and I was on my way to the Huckabee campaign, I saw it. It was a hand-painted poster. And what it was was Obama and his wife hand-painted in front of an Iowa farmhouse that said, Vote Iowa. Obama for president. It was thoughtful. It was approachable. You could touch it. And that's what Iowa is about. So I guess Obama is Iowa. Are all the rest Iowa too? And is it enough to convince Iowans? We'll find out in only a couple of days. This is Jack Rice.